Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to look at the next fish and tawny coming soon to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So right now we're in the middle of part two of Crazy Red Summer Festival. Red is of course here in search of some fancy looking flicker fly creatures which we can attract in our gardens using the new irises available during the event. By now I imagine most people have earned a few prizes Red has up for grabs but don't worry if not there are still three days left of the event which is more than enough time to catch the creatures we need. Personally I'm about halfway through so it will be close but I think I will at least be able to get all of the event items which will be cool. As always if you need some extra creatures be sure to share them with your friends or even post your pocket camp IDs here if you're looking for active players. Now the garden event is already coming to a close and we don't have long to wait until the next event. Beginning on the 14th of August, the fifth fishing tourney will begin, this time back at Lost Lure Creek. This will only be the second time Chip has held the tourney here and personally I think I prefer this location. Just like the previous tourneys, it is expected to last for around a week ending on the 20th of August which gives us plenty of time to catch some brand new, never before seen river fish and of course trade them in with Chip for new limited time prizes. This time around, with it being back along the river, the event will introduce some awesome new fish including the gorgeous looking guppy, the tiny piranha and the super cool looking golden koi which I'm definitely looking forward to getting in my camp. Just as the previous fishing events, Chip will be on the lookout for as many fish as we can catch and offering up some randomly awarded prizes based on the collective length of all the fish we take to him. So basically the more fish we catch, the more prizes we earn, which I think is fair. Now by merging the past fishing theme with the current summer festival theme, the Fish and Tawny offers up some awesome looking clothing items for prizes. Some of the prizes include Chip's vest, Chip's hat, the lotus hairpin, some tropical sandals, the orange sari, the purple katar, as well as some cool furniture items including the guppy tank, piranha tank, golden koi tank and the beautiful grand elephant statue which looks amazing. As always the fish tanks won from this tourney can be displayed at our camps no problem and of course the wooden, bronze, silver and gold trophies are all up for grabs and will be rewarded based on the amount of fish we catch. Unfortunately there is some slightly bad news surrounding the event that some awesome data miners have uncovered regarding the regular fishing rod. When comparing results from the past event and the data found in the game it's looking as though the chances of catching double fish using the normal fishing rod has decreased since the first events from 20% down to the 13% which it is now meaning it will be harder to catch extra fish if you're only using the normal rod which sucks. I'm not sure if this is a big deal or if it will have a huge impact on players but it's interesting to know. Personally I will probably use the golden rod again anyway, I started using it in the last tourney and it definitely made the event much easier for me. The golden rod does cost 80 leaf tickets to hire for the duration of the event though so if like me you're quite busy right now and you can't play much or you just want to win multiple event items from chip it's probably worth it. The event will of course include new time goals giving us the chance to win a few extra goodies including fish tanks and tawny throw nets and as always there will be some premium tawny throw nets available should you want to spend some leaf tickets to catch even more fish and win prizes faster. So yeah definitely some cool prizes up for grabs this time and it's nice to see they're moving away from the underwater items into the new summer themes. So yeah that pretty much covers all the latest news surrounding Animal Crossing Pocket Camp right now. As always if you would like even more updates or to chat more about the events happening right now don't forget to head over to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash mayamori. If you got this far in the video please comment golden koi just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and be sure to include your opinions on the golden fishing rod. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.